It's humbling and gratifying at the same time. Uh, being elected as chairman uh, is the vote of confidence from membership that I can uh, be their voice, advocate for banking in the state of Indiana, but in particular, you know, the smaller community banks, which maybe not don't have the advantages of scale. The friendships and opportunities that I gained from my uh, time in the IBA chairs has been invaluable. Gary has set the high bar for me, and I hope I can provide the uh, support and uh, set the example for Ben Waknowski. Jamie is a visionary, and um, if you know Jamie, uh, Jamie is um, an idea guy. So uh, Jamie always has the next idea, and with this, um, he is able to uh, challenge his team, always keep his team members energized, and um, striving um, to you know make things better um, in the future. You know, I think Jamie will succeed um, as the IBA chairman because he's a team builder. And he doesn't shy away from volunteerism, two really important qualities of the chairman uh, for the IBA. When he was asked to be the Indiana representative for the Friends of Traditional Banking, he gladly accepted. And I think he's excited to become chairman of the IBA. You, you know, even though Jamie is a Buckeye, we Hoosiers have adopted him as one of our own. I will give Jamie the same advice that Mike Zahn gave me. The IBA staff is excellent. Just get out of their way and let them do their jobs and you will have a successful year. He has a passion for community banking. He's aware and, and passionate about the, uh, the, the issues, you know, going to the lobbying trips and being involved and uh, just, you know, watching, watching him network with other bankers, he really, it motivates him. It, you know, he, he's, it energizes him and I think, he'll, uh, I think he'll do an excellent job. I'm so looking forward to Jamie serving as our 2023 IBA chair. Jamie has been um, a longtime member of the IBA, but I think what sets him apart uh, is his intense loyalty to the Indiana banking community. For years, Jamie has been engaged with the IBA, working to help make the banking industry better, whether it's through initiatives, whether it's through policy, whether it's through connection to the Indiana State House or Capitol Hill. He works tirelessly on behalf of the banking community and that's exactly what we're looking for in a leader.